Hey guys, this is Dimitri and welcome back to another Haruknox review. The Rosewell Armor EVO gaming case is actually quite interesting, as it's specifically designed for EATX motherboards. The form factor is rather unusual, with longer body to accommodate for wider motherboards, but it is tall just like a mid-tower. So priced at $120, this might be an alternative pick if you don't want to opt out for a full tower. The front mesh panel is something I really like, it allows for good airflow, reveals uh, the red LED fans that are included plus it blends in with the rest of this industrial design. We do have three optical base with dustproof covers and taking off the front panel there are two included fans that are attached to the frame with a built-in dust filter and below the panel is a very discreet and awkwardly placed fan LED button as the rest of the connections are the front with four USB ports, your audio jacks and your PR buttons. The side and top panels both have a protruding mesh with rubber grommets for all the fans and I do like how Rosewell incorporates excellent airflow out of the box with a 200mm side fan and dual 120mm fans for the top. So a total of 6 fans is included with the Armor Evo case. Taking a look at the back we have 7 PCI expansion slots and a removable power supply dust filter. So the internals are interesting because of this added length for EATX support. There's 13 and a half inches of clearance until the fan bracket, leaving uh, compatibility for longer graphics cards without any compromises. The drive cage includes seven slots with metal drive caddies. These are not tools, but they are a lot sturdier than a lot of the plastic ones we see today. Now the fan bracket may come in very useful, not just for additional airflow, but uh, once removed you can easily mount a 240mm radiator and push and pull, and still have a little over 11 inches of clearance. So I could see this being an interesting case for multi-radiator system, and while it is tight, the rat fits in just fine with our GTX 590. Now I am also happy to see Armor Evo is well equipped for cable management, with multiple wrap grommets uh, for both standard ATX and EATX motherboards, lots of room at the rear and scattered cable tie mounts all around, uh, and you will see later on how well the build cleans up. Now one of the most common things we see in cases is the lack of proper spacing between the top fans and the motherboard. Uh, and we only get one inch of space between the fans and the memory modules on our motherboard. So giving us more space would be nice to avoid compatibility issues uh, with CPU towers and of course top mounted radiators. And continuing with the assembly, check out how clean the system looks. This is due to proper grommet location. And flipping the case around you can see no loose cables and super simple job for wiring all your components. And so to wrap it up, the Armor Evo is a well-built mid-tower with a purposely longer frame to allow compatibility with EATX motherboards without merging it into a full tower. It certainly comes equipped with excellent airflow out of the box with 6 fans and promising water cooling support with excellent cable management. However, with such large side intake potential, the mesh is not filtered which will cause massive amounts of dust uh, and a slightly taller body would be nice to accommodate for top mounted radiators and CPU towers. And because the side panels are much longer than your standard, it was a bit more difficult uh, making sure all the hinges were in place. And also at $120, they are sure making it difficult for the Armor Evo to be competitive, considering the latest Phantom 530 from NZXT is similarly priced, uh, but off far superior functionality. Or the Defined XLR2 from Fractal Design, both of which have EATX support. Now also while our model arrived just fine without any dents or broken fans, Rosewell quality control for this particular model has received numerous complaints, so we hope they are listening and improving as well. So thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.